Okay, quick little video on how I have been doing my um, little envelopes. I use a book page. Actually, two book pages are popular for me. One is with very small fine print, which is this thin, thin dictionary page from the old collegiate dictionary. And then the other would be a book page from a normal hardcover book. <clears throat> sometimes I want to see the larger print. Sometimes I want to see the smaller print. And this, I started making envelopes. And what I do is cover them with printed tissue paper using a glue stick. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to show these sweet little envelopes that I've made using various prints that I have purchased um, I can't I can't remember off the top of my head which ones I've used but um, and when sometimes I use a combination of different patterns <clears throat> and this is a hungry JPEG I do know that sort of a Christmassy one and that's the one I, en I enjoyed using the smaller dictionary print and the back is just beautiful and another I think this was a hungry JPEG as well and not sure which one this is but I I used the larger print and all of them this this one is a picture I made up this is a Japanese I think it was a Japanese print I'm not sure and then I found these gold shiny leaves and digitally put them on the pattern but you can see there's no texture in this this is nothing more than a clear tissue paper but look at the printed texture I got on the background which I love and of course the text shows through and I think this might be this might be an Edith Holden print but I'm not real sure but I think it might be and this one I added a little bit of paper lace to the bottom another dictionary print with the hungry JPEG images and I can't remember where I got this, this one <laughs> but as usual it's the one of the ones I love look at the back of this I do believe this might be a hungry JPEG print <clears throat> this might be hmm, Victoria designs maybe oh this is my Japanese this was on raw pixel Oh my God, I love this kimono. It's just a gorgeous print. And some more. This is a collage paper. Can't remember. But I buy a lot of... <clears throat> Um, digital paper because it's such a high quality print that's why you know they scan really high high resolution so this is this is nothing more than an open frame that captured the text underneath and like you see I went kind of crazy with all of these but I do love them. And so nothing, just one piece. Okay, now here's here's a layout of one. People have asked, you know, how do you print on tissue paper? Well, I laid this one out. So now this is going to be on my computer. This would be the piece that's going to go this way. And so that's this piece here. This piece here is what's going to be in the back, in the middle. 
and this piece <clears throat> uh, goes in that direction because it's going to be up. Sometimes this matters, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but that's what I usually do. I have these in uh, on my computer <clears throat> in sections. Like this will be up, this will be back, and this will be... But it did get wrinkled, so I may have to just touch it up a bit. Or maybe it was a little bit too wide. I didn't have it pushed out far enough. At any rate, what people have asked is, this just came out of my printer. Let me get back up a little bit. Uh, it just came out of my printer, and I haven't taken it off of the carrier sheet. As you can see, I have a very well-worn. I use this carrier sheet so many times, that's why the ink is so dark around the edges. There's only one piece there and one piece there. And then the leading edge runs all the way across. And you have to be quite careful as you remove this. I usually put my finger underneath here and then turn the page. This is a piece of cardstock and I've used it for all of those envelopes that you just that just showed you. <clears throat> and this now is and and this is you can see the the ink has bled through onto this um, repositionable adhesive, which is um, hold on. Okay, the adhesive I use is whoops Amazon Basics, and it's non permanent. Let's see. There we go. Amazon Basics non-permanent roller. So you just take this <clears throat> and carefully run it across top of the cardstock. And two pieces on the side, nothing at the bottom. Um, in fact, I've actually done the runner twice. So this two layers of tape, I've used this so much. Um, try to get it as close as possible to the edge without going over. And if you run your fingers across this edge and it's sticky, that could cause a little difficulty with your printer. So put your finger in a little bit of talcum powder and rub it across the top so it's not sticky anymore. <clears throat> All the purpose is is that it will hold the tissue paper and then I line it up like so carefully. Let's see if I can get this in frame now. Wait a minute. Yeah, I put this on the wall actually. A hard surface like a wall and then I visualize this going right across there and that's the first thing I do. I lay it and then press it down in the middle and to the side. And if I incur get a wrinkle, I lift it up. So that's it. And then spread it down gently from the middle and then out to the sides. And that's how I adhere the unprinted tissue paper or deli wrap or whatever. And then hit print. I designed two of these on a page. So actually, these will make two envelopes. I will cut it right in half. And like I said, I'll have two envelopes. I decide whether I want to use, <clears throat> by looking at it, set this aside. Um, do I want to use the small print, which I think I like on this one. This will be the lid, I mean the cover. And I, I do like that or a regular book page print, which also works very well. 
Now, <clears throat> what I do is I put a pencil mark wherever I'm going to say I didn't want that title there. I would lower it down a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, this part's going to get folded a tiny bit over, so it won't matter. I just make a couple little pencil marks, and then that way I know where the glue goes. I take a, a glue stick and um, thanks to Pam at the Paper Outpost, I particularly like these. And I just glue from the pencil mark all the way inside and back and forth and back and forth. And then carefully put my hands underneath line up where I want the top to be and press it down there and to the sides and then down all the way and then trim off the sides and fold fold it I fold this over a little bit and this edge over a little bit and I get an envelope that's how I do it. So <clears throat> if anybody is interested, particularly in the carrier sheet, hopefully this will help.